Baggy, 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 baggy cheese. <laughs> baggy, 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 baggy cheese. Okay, I'm just gonna use that as a, you know, the opening for our show. Do you like it? Because I'm, I've been obsessed with baggy jeans. Recently. What was that meme that came from that? Where they're like, it's that they use an audio from a drama. They're like, hi, my is Pekin or something. Really? Yeah. They, they, they do that? You are so out of touch. You want to be like, Becky, Becky, but you don't even know the me- the related memes. I just appreciate, you know, fully the music instead of the artist behind it. You know, I, um, it's just, um, cause I see the music first and then who sings it, you know? It's, really? That's just my, another excuse of not paying attention right, to the artist. What's the first verse of Talk Sexy by Rise? Um, the Talk Sexy. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> It w- but it was the, the one being who does the opening, because but be- that's not what I asked. <laughs> it's, it's the least I can do. Yes. Yes. Um, you, uh, do you ever watch any of the? Um, because SM has that channel called SMP Floor where they upload basically the original, uh, Anmu like demos. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, they they upload the original some of the original dance demos, like choreography demos uh-huh. by the actual choreographers, and the one for Talk Sexy by Rise. Love Rise the Moshiso Couldn't they have the original choreographers Seeing them dance to Talk Taxi Whole nother level Okay They're on the next level uh, But it, it, they're but As a Rise bias hot. I refuse to, to watch it I just Because rise. you don't want to be Yeah I don't want to be swayed <laughs> Because you know how how much I love Aspa Yeah the first go go group that I bought the, the album from. I only bought one from Espa, another one from Rise. So I love, really like Espa. But I uh, recently talk about hold on. Mm-hmm. Can you move this? Can you move farther that way? Okay. Because I don't want to fucking get. I don't want to. I don't want to fucking. I don't want to. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to be near you. Okay, but we're technically still. Um, if I, if I, I can still attack you. Did you ever do this in school when you have to spread out? Use the arms. Oh, we 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 in have gym. In, <laughs> in in Chinese school we do this like in the like after the third period mm-hmm. we are in the pl- everyone's in the playground doing the gy- gymnastic mm-hmm. thing like with the music playing. Not, yeah. yeah, but uh, when you have to space out in, evenly in the yard, everyone puts our arms yes, out. Yes, we do that one too. One arm, yeah. <laughs> After that, we do the gymnastics. No, I'm I'm it, make sure that we don't hit yeah, anyone. Yes. Yeah, I am. Um... We're more alike than you think. <laughs> <laughs> we had an episode of um, Love Counselor, questions that we were doing. Audio got fucked up, so we're redoing it today. But to be honest, I, what I do remember from the episode is that a lot of our answers weren't very good anyway. But And half the stuff wasn't even questions, they were just like statements. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it was a really good episode, though. Oh, honey, it was. I was thinking my how many the whole time. So today, maybe we we'll get a little bit of that in. Honestly, I was thinking about it. I was, I was thinking I could have gone through and picked some interesting ones instead of being random. Because because last time you noticed my no, subpar English, so you chose to read everything. I noticed from the beginning of our friendship, your subpar English. <sighs> I get it. But yet you are not helping. You're not tutoring. You're just pointing out the the problem. Exactly. And just you're like blaming our last me. episode where I talked about how I'm a bad teacher is one that just scolds and doesn't help. Mm-hmm. That's me right now. Exactly you. Mm-hmm. And I'm yet I'm still your friend. So it just means like our friendship like how much, you know, I appreciate our friendship. This is a long one, girl. Okay, I refuse to read. Also, by the way, hello, I'm Edward. You're Edward. This is the Double D Podcast. Yes. I realized the other day that we never introduce our actual... I, we just assume everyone knows them. I just... Yeah. Uh, Do you think there there will be, like, new people that... There has to be. So it's we should, it's proper to have an introduction. Mm-hmm. What do you think is um, a good proper... Do it. Oh my god, this is so, so cringe. So okay. gay. <laughs> the entire show is very gay. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Sucking um, dick and cock, <laughs> and you did it at my birthday dinner. <laughs> um, well, I had no choice. It was just so delicious. And, um, you know. And, uh, would you ever. Bros before hoes. Hoes before bros? Hoes before bros. Hoes? Okay, never mind. That's what boys with their guy friends say. What 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 do gay people say? They they have none because they're fucking bitches and they don't care about each other. Anyway, there is this guy that I now know for a fact likes me. The thing is, I don't like him back in that way. I have done everything to tell him I do not like him that way. Oh, first of all, thank you for the grammar. In our last episode, I remember being plagued with like not bad grammar, but just run on sentences. Yeah. Nobody yes. was fucking using periods. I didn't know where to stop, start, stop. Like, it was crazy. I did subtle hints like telling him he is such a good friend. I tra- Okay, already? 
when you are with someone that you know likes you but you don't like back you can't be giving these subtle hints because that will make in their head they're gonna think she likes me I'm there you you hear that I only tried to hang out with him in group settings and much more. It eventually got to the point where I had to tell myself I do not like him romantically and I only see him as a friend. Usually this is where the story should end, but here's where my problem comes in. See, I am someone who hates it when people get up all in my personal space and ever since I rejected his feelings, he has been trying to get closer and closer in my bubble. Oof. From hitting me with his legs to breathing- <laughs> No. From hitting me with his legs to breathing down my neck to looking at my text, even though his is right in front of him. Listen, I don't get it either. And when I brought up how uncomfortable he is making me, he brushed it off saying that he can do as he pleases. Creep. Not bad. Mm -hmm. That is not okay. He probably thinks it's in his head. He probably thinks it's okay. But he's like, I like her, so I should be able to act like this. Honey, I'd be pissed. You're doing exactly, you're making it worse, I feel like. It reminds me of you know how guys guys are hitting on a girl like you know, in elementary elementary school they will pull the girl's hair mm -hmm. do all these pranks on the girl to mm -hmm. get attention mm -hmm. yeah when the girls hate it yeah how they, how they always say like little kids when they have questions when they pick on them mm -hmm. it's giving me the vibes of like when a dude hits on a girl mm -hmm. and the girl rejects him and the dude suddenly his ego gets hurt and so he starts acting like a bitch to yes. her. We were fucking ugly anyway. Yeah, it's giving me that vibe. Except he thinks that doing all this weird shit is gonna make her like him. That's psychotic. Anyway, I think just the dude maybe may not just be hot enough or something. <laughs> cool, that, more, but more that's on. what happens in school time because all you care about, yeah, all people normally care about in like when they are very young is Looks, you know, the look first. Yeah, so. I've tried to move away from him in class, but he always moves his seat right next to mine. Oh, I'm so stalker. Keep, I'm so keep out of <laughs> I try to avoid being paired with him for class discussions, but to no avail, since he always sits right next to me, and my teacher tends to pair us by who we sit the closest to. I even try leaning to the opposite side where he is not at uh, to create some space, but he takes it as a sign to move closer. I'm so tired of this man already. I'm starting to lose my patience with him, and I feel as though he talking to him is useless at this point. I don't want to resort to any low measures, and I am contemplating asking my teacher to help facilitate a conversation between the two of us, since clearly my attempts for a civil conversation does not work. But I am worried that the teacher is just going to dismiss us as a "you two should work it out" type of issue. Teachers will do that. Yes, they don't want to do like they don't want to deal with shit like that. So they'll be like, "Oh, you two, just oh my, oh my god, like my professor." Oof. What should I do? Thank you and sorry for such a long message. Honestly, thank you for the grammar, the proper yes. grammar. So I don't even mind. What do you think, Eddie? What do you think she should do? This is a tricky question because um, you guys are in the same school like together and you guys see each other every single day. That's the part that fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, normally a girl won't like reject a guy really harshly or tell him to back off like very seriously because they see each other every, every single day. And it would be super awkward. It's, it is sad that the guy is trying to get into her bubbles and everything. So it's, it can be very tricky. But I think this guy needs to know no means no. Based off of the what we read, it seems more like she's trying to use body language to try to get him away. But I think she needs to use her words. Yes. And just be like, she, she, look, you're in my fucking space. I know you said you liked me, but I don't like you like that. And I don't mind being friends with you, but you need to stop trying to get in my space. Not necessarily she, she should mention to him that, oh, I know you, that you like me. Because normally I think a guy would be like, Oh, you think I like you? Uh, yeah, like they just don't give him that chance. Just tell him to like you're really in my like personal space, mm -hmm. invading my personal space. You should back off, and I really don't like you. I don't like how you're sitting in front of me. Yeah. If you like this seat, I will move. Like I myself will move. Okay, mm -hmm. like I will do something like that. So you should tell him like very seriously mm -hmm. in front of his in front of him and then in front of a lot of other people to make him Im feel embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because he needs to learn. Yeah. But before that, I make sure I'll make sure that he's not like a psychopath or a, like something. I mean, he already sounds like one. Uh, yeah, but like, if you agitate him too much, then yeah. he might be get, he might get violent or something. Uh, if that is the case, I might transfer my school <laughs> yes because i I'm, 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 I'm avoiding my like any traumatic experience in all cost but what if he tries to follow him if he pays that much effort then it's a, it does him for what we can what we can say because we don't know what the situation is mm -hmm. that could happen it could might it might not happen mm -hmm. for me and you i guess personally i feel like we think that you should just put your foot down and let him know instead of uh kind of like being a little bit more being like mm -hmm. eh. Just for a lot of guys, a lot of fucking guys can be annoying and aggressive, and they don't take the fucking hint. Yes, there's a lot of guys like that. You just should hurt his his ego and um, let him know that you're 
annoying as f and then i feel like if anything that's the kind of thing that will be like triggering for him and he's gonna like come after her so, so just so make sure that he's not that kind of person here's a small one maybe you can handle it <laughs> but you got chocolate all over your face you look like you got fenty's new uh matte lip cream all over your fucking face it's clinique's um black honey <laughs> Of- Fuck you, idiot! <laughs> <laughs> he said Clinique's black honey. I'm dead. Only from Estee Lauder Group. <laughs> Clinique. Okay. You're yeah. crazy. I don't like how you put it. Here's a small one. I think you can handle it. What do you mean by that? I'm a girl who can handle everything as long as it's true love. Okay. As long as it's short and uh, not too long of English. This is so short. It's tiny. Show the camera. Okay. Yeah, compared to this one. <laughs> yes. But the thing is, she was sorry about it being so long, but most of them are this long. <laughs> yes. But, but sometimes you have to set up the story. You got to set up the, you know. And most of uh, the story that people send us is their traumatic experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you got to build it up. Yeah. Okay, so this story, let me see. Okay, so I have been off and on with this guy, but he never changes. But when we hang out, I R L In real life. Oh, in real life. That's what it means. Okay. But when we hang out in real life, it's so fun. But over text, he's so dry and doesn't try at all. Wait, he's fun in person? Yeah, he says. I've met people like that. Mm. And I don't, know how I, I don't know how I feel about that. When in person, it's like fun and all that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I feel about the way about you. Really? Yeah, we're all in, in person. We're sticky taka, we're back and forth, chat, uh-huh. chat, But uh-huh. in text, sometimes you're just like, okay. <laughs> That was that's you because I, I became that. No, I want to say the exact same to you because Edward. What? And for a fact, I I treated what, our, I treated our message conversation very seriously. And oh, I know you do. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then and then you all you always do not read the last text I send you. So I'm like, okay, I give up. So I will end up I end, <laughs> I will end my conversation very dry. So it doesn't matter if you read or not because you never read them. But the thing is, I know I'm gonna meet you and we're gonna, we're gonna discuss it. We're gonna talk about it. Cause they have, have, do you have any people that are like that in person where y'all have a good time but then when you like say hi to them besides me where they're just like ha huh, lol okay. I think for, for, in terms of friends I don't mm-hmm. care at all but this he's mentioned about that this guy is being on, on and off with him so they are having like a semi you know some like situationship I think there's just some people cause you know the people that are like Oh, I'm not much of a texter. It might just be that situation. I also, I'm similar to the, the person writing this. I have those thoughts as well. I'm like, they're kind of dry on text. Do they not like me? But sometimes it's just, uh, they're not good at texting or they're busy or they're, you know, that's that's why I had to teach myself because sometimes I, I overthink the way people text sometimes. Yes. Sometimes I'm right. <laughs> but sometimes I could literally Sometimes just be, you're right. Yeah, but sometimes they literally just like, they'd rather like either have a phone call or they'd rather meet you. And I have met this, I have encountered this con- this kind of cases uh, where like the over text, he's super, super dry. Mm-hmm. But in front of my face, he said he kind of liked me. So I don't kind get- Kind of like you? Like he liked me, but I don't get this at all. In, in text, he's literally super dry. Like, mm. like it's really like hard to, to continue. To continue. Yeah, it's really hard to continue the situa- like conversation with him. And then I confronted him with this problem. It's like, why, when you text, you know, you're really, really dry. And mm, I, what did he say? And he said, he showed me his thumb. And his thumb, <laughs> his thumb is like, mm, I don't want to say freak, freakishly, because I never noticed. <laughs> it's not, it's something that, you know what I'm saying? It's something that, <laughs> this is a true story. It's something that when he pointed out, then you Holy! realize his thumb is like, it's kind of disordered. Dis- mm. dis- if they if their finger gets caught in the door and it's it, it oh cartoonishly yeah yeah yeah, balloons. yeah and he said it's hard for him to text because <laughs> when he texts he press the wrong oh. button so he, he avoid texting in his voice speech, speech oh, to text. It, it, it was it was years ago now he's in um Chicago and everything is his thumb still the same yeah it's, it's natural born he's mm. yeah um, he's that is. I don't want to laugh at that, but it, the yeah, circumstances it's, kind it's, of, it's the, not, circ- the situation is funny. It's not to a degree that like, you would see it and you would freak out. Because I'm just imagining, because you're like, why do you, how come, why does it you seem like you, you're not interested in me? And he's just and like. Then he <laughs> and then at that moment, I understood. I'm like, uh, girl, you are forgiven. No. Yeah. So then so, what happened to your relationship? Oh, because this, I can, I don't think I can. Oh. I, I, okay. So basically is. 
what happened between me and him is so I just sucked his dick and just, that was it. <laughs> no, he um, cause he his school because he, he went to Myeongji Daehyo in Korea mm-hmm. and Myeongji Daehyo got you know how do I say abolished like really cl- closed now oh, wow. because um because there's no enough students attendees yeah, attendees uh, where is it. Uh, it's in Seoul, actually. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, so he changed his school to University of Illinois or something. Really? Yeah, that's a quite, pretty good school. Mm. Now he's doing uh, a PhD in MIA, MIA, the very famous one, MIT. The rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. M-I-A. There, there, there is a famous, famous um, school for. This cookie's delicious. I know. There's a there, MIT. Am I, is it MIT? I think MIT. MIT. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm an English literature major, so I, I don't. Am I also for missing in action? <laughs> I know that. So he's he's now doing his uh, PhD in MIT. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So so naturally, he just had to leave the school. Yeah. And you, you naturally separated. Yes, but because we we had something like two years before prior to this, mm-hmm. and then I sort of delayed his contact because I felt like he's he does not his text is so dry but when we met is there's a, a chemical but I feel like maybe I just stopped I don't want to try like to uh, an extent but two years later it's because the thumb y'all the thumb was just like but two years later I was I, I kept thinking about him because um the that's real love the thing was like really good when we had it together mm-hmm. and then I texted him like how are you doing I never do this I said how are you doing and he said I was thinking about you too I'm like oh really <gasps> oh. and then we met again and then he told me that he's he, he fucking he's he cool. pounded the shit out of your little pussy no, 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 it's, it's something and romantic. you're like well I'm that was good <laughs> no, it's, it's something I'm still STD free I'm just kidding hey <laughs> yeah he um he said his school is about to close and mm-hmm. he if he's about to go to Chicago so he cannot have anything serious and then I asked him the reason why I don't talk to you anymore is because I felt our conversation was super dry uh-huh. and then he showed me his thumb mm-hmm. and then I realized it was yeah and then he literally texted in front of me and I felt like he was in pain so wow yeah but you know if you really love him then you should you should use the iPad and use the, the, the this thing use your use your this you have in this one. Oh yeah, but and these days you can you can do the swiping thing to yes, oh. but it was like few years, yes, a few years ago. ago. Yeah. They, you know you know the phrase uh, if you really love something, let it go, and if it was meant to be, it will come back. I, I guess it was that situation. I, I think he will stay in the states. But then you saw that thumb again. You were like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, inher- inheritory and um, inheritory, right? The word Her- hereditary. I think that the Heredi- that's not, I, that that. Is that the situation you've used that in? No, but, no I, I was going to say, because that kind of thumb thing, it will pass to my children. If we get is, it, is that the case? Was his parents like that? I don't, but, I don't know, but like, I think I think that something will pass to my children if, you feel mm. like if I ha- get pregnant, but that's Hopefully the case if I can get pregnant. That big energy <laughs> goes down here. <laughs> he was a really kind person, and uh, I hope you're the best, even though we're not together anymore. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you have fun in Chicago, eating the deep dish and everything. I lost my virginity in Chicago. In a dumpster? You will dumpster. never let the fucking dumpster go. <laughs> I, the dumpster was California. Okay. But there's a lot of... Okay, so you lost your virginity in Chicago, like, with the... My boyfriend. The Korean lawyer guy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I see. Did I ever tell you that uh, my dog, uh, the big one, Buddy, the golden retriever, he has a tendency to... Because whenever my parents leave the house, he always sits in front of the garage door waiting for them. He's always like, mm, all sad. And... Right in front of the garage door is the shoe area, kind of like this, mm-hmm. and he chews on the shoelaces. So on That's all my, that, yeah. yeah. So on all my shoes, all the, the shoelace itself is fine, but you know at the end the plastic thing, they're all chewed off, mm-hmm. on my new shoes. Mm-hmm. So, I just yeah. want to report that my I replaced my Nike shoelaces. You know what? Ne- next time I will I will give you some. I have a spray that mm-hmm. tastes. It's made from natural shit, and then you. What? <laughs> So you, you, but you spray on the objects that you don't want your dogs to chew on. Really? It because it, it was, doesn't it smell bad though. No, it doesn't smell bad. Mm. But when the dog chew on it, it it will taste bitter to him, to them. Really? So they will stop biting. So that's what I did. But Cody, luckily, she is not a biter. She does not bite on stuff and mm. chew on stuff. So I have that spray. I never use it. She bites on. She nibbles on me. Oh, that's called. Um, you know, she does not like another female dog. So. It's, Girl, icon. No, She's but an I, icon. I just want to say something before this because mm-hmm. um, trust me, if a guy's not interested in you, he, like the guy wouldn't even hang out with you in the first place. Oh, that's place. true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So guys are like that. Yes. Yeah, some guys are just like that. Yeah. yeah. So don't worry. Don't worry, honey. So let's move on to the next question. I'm thinking. I kind of feel like I'm that way as well. I'd rather hang out in person. 
Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say that because yeah. Edward is like that. Yeah, I'm very attentive to you when we're in person, but in text I'm just like, yeah. See, you, and you're accusing me of not doing this. Edward, How you're the, you're, you are the dry texter in our relationship. So I think I'm gonna end up alone, and I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> me, <laughs> me, honestly, I'm 24 years old. They're only 24. Have you ever dated, honey? Like it's okay. Just I think we read this. I think we did this one already. Again? Yeah. Bruh, not this fucking oh my God. Harry Potter ass fucking- A novella. <laughs> a novella, truly. So, I recently started chatting with a guy I knew from high school. I could tell he had- Me at Nathan Slade. <laughs> Nathan Slade, I miss you. Even though you're married and you have kids. Yeah, me with Jason Walker. You had a Jason Walker in your no, life? No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say, I was like, is that the root of all your the Jasons in your story? You always pull out a Jason from somewhere. <laughs> Uh, I recently started chatting with a guy from high school. I could tell he had feelings for me back then, but neither of us acted on it. So beyond him being my senior prom date, nothing ever happened between us. Nothing happened on their prom night? Then... He's gay? What? Or no. he's, he's, oh, he's straight. No, if she could tell that he liked her back then, mm -hmm. and, but they were each other's dates at prom night, why didn't nothing happen back then? He had no social media accounts at the time, so we lost contact. Earlier this year, he made an Instagram account and requested to follow me, and we started chatting on and off. In the beginning, he was quite responsive and would say some flirty things. But soon after, he started responding to my messages three plus hours after I sent them. It's now normal for him to send me one or two messages a day. Skull emoji. Girl, skull emoji's me. My friends keep telling me that he's definitely interested in me based on his message insinuating that he'll take me out for a meal or invite me over to his place. But I don't know if that's the case since we've been talking for a few months now and his slow response rate plus saying he'll take me out or that he wants to hang out with me but never doing it has me thinking otherwise. Am I thinking too hard about this? At this point, I'm not sure if he's actually interested in me or if he sees me as an easy backup option. He's told me he's been using dating apps but hasn't been successful with them. We aren't talking as much right now other than the occasional reply to my story but the messages he sends me are all Always on the flirty side. I'm not currently looking for a relationship, but I'm open to going on a date if he asks. Our relationship has always been question mark, and I feel like this could be my chance to see where it goes. On the other hand, he's shown me no real commitments to make anything happen, platonically or romantically. So I also feel like I should draw a line to close this chapter of my life and just move on. Please help. This lives in my head rent free, and I feel like I'm wasting more time thinking about it than I should. <laughs> Girl, this is fucking me. But just like our last one, it seems like the the texting style is just out there. It's not it's not right for them. Oh my god. I, I don't know what this guy is thinking. They're, they live in the same city, right? Even if they didn't live in the same city, based off of this uh, behavior with texting, it almost seems like he's not that interested. Mm. Right? Because it almost seems... It, Another fish in the pond? Uh, like she was saying, it almost seems like she feels like she's just a backup option. Because uh -huh. for me, if I, I'm into someone, I will text them like pretty regularly. Mm. Yes. Even though I know we've been talking about how I'm a bad texter, I would mm. still, you know, mm -hmm. with them. And I... what once or twice a day i know i don't text that much but like that's a little bit like after i heard this long text my natural woman instinct is to drop him to drop him and move on yeah because if a guy really likes you the guy will let you know the mm -hmm. guy will realize you know very obviously he wouldn't make you feel like you like Ali got here like you don't mm -hmm. you're not sure if he yeah. likes you or not that's what exactly yeah. what i thought was, was thinking as well mm -hmm. for me the most important thing is i don't want to waste my time thinking about this shit. yeah so i'd rather spend it doing other shit or talking to another guy yeah because it's even worth it if he's telling telling you or something then i will honey honey once a week respond i'm totally fine once with that. in a year i'm okay mm -hmm. so, do you ever have someone like that in uh growing up in high school you have a crush on them and you happen to have their contact or something and they'd message like once a fucking week but you would you're so happy <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, oh. yeah he, but it'll be like lol <laughs> <laughs> i miss those era you know do you look at us now? All back question. when we had to pay per text. <laughs> pay per text. T nine. I have no idea what that is. T pay per text. T nine. The we had to like press the button multiple times to get a letter. Oh oh, you know those. those <laughs> yeah, the, like, the original uh, Nokia. Keypad. Yeah, like Nokia phone. Like you. Mm. Oh yeah, I know. And then you use the, your your phone as MP three players, and then you like transfer all the M MP three files uh, that you get your, on Napster. You make your own playlist. I don't make playlists. Oh, okay. I just if I there's a song. I'm the type that if I there's a song I want to listen to, I just go to the artist and pick that song specifically. I don't use playlists. But but back then you had to make your own playlist because it does not connect connect your phone to the internet. So you, you there's no way that I use. I had an iPod, so it was always all organized. You know, the rich kid, American kids, like cool. Well, mine. Was, I remember my first iPod was refurbished. Oh, I, it was iPod Nano. Actually, no. My very first iPod was the original 
the classic one where mm-hmm. it had like the spinning circle in the middle. Mm-hmm. I love that design. Mm-hmm. But I dropped it once. And the thing is, those iPods use a hard drive, not a flash drive. Mm-hmm. Do you know the difference? Um, a, fl- a flash drive. I'm curious to know. A flash drive is the type of memory card you put into the camera here, the quick reading one. But the hard drive is the one that spins, like you can hear it mm-hmm. spinning in there, that slow one that you see in PCs. Mm-hmm. That's what the iPods used to use. Mm-hmm. And so when you click a song, you have to wait for it to load a little bit, like two oh. or three seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, but that shit is sensitive. Mm-hmm. So I dropped it once and it fucked it up. Uh-huh. And so sometimes it would load, sometimes uh-huh. it would freeze. And then later on, they moved over to flash mm-hmm. drive. So it's, it loads faster and all that. But um, yeah, later on, I had iPod Nano. You remember the Nano? The, 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 the one that you... That's a shuffle. That's... Oh, that's There's no nano? screen. That's a shuffle. The nano, all the, all the nanos have screens. But oh, they're really know. tiny. I thought it was like the small one that you clip here and then that's you the shuffle. Out. Oh, that's a called shuffle. shuffle. I see. Yeah, but I had one of the the nano. There was very many variations of the nano, but I had the one that was like a square looking one. Mm-hmm. Also, it looked like a, a mini iPod, basically, a little rolling wheel screen, very skinny and like, slim. Girl, I ordered that shit, got the box, opened it, nothing in there. I was like, why? This is the hot. Someone this is, stole it. Yeah, during shipping. This is when Apple was blowing up already. This is around the time like I, the first iPad came out and all that. So it was very dangerous for shipping stuff. People just steal shit. Oh. So I had to tell that I was like, <laughs> the way I, for the next three hours, I would just look, am I looking in this box incorrectly? <laughs> There's literally just an empty box. There's like, shipping air. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to ask. Did you, did you, did you like. I got, I got a new one, but I had to. Um, How did it believe you that you really like, you really lost it or someone? I don't know. Uh-huh. I should technically I should have taken a video of me opening the box, mm-hmm. but I know I thought I just had it. Mm-hmm. But when I got the box, I was like, "This is really light." Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this iPod Nano is so light. Open it, it was, it was air. It was air. I thank God that like they believed in you, and then mm-hmm. they shipped you a new one. Yeah, they picked it up. The people, special group of people, picked up the box to investigate it or whatever, and they sent me a new one. But I mean, it was it was refurbished. But mm-hmm. um, I remember uh, for Apple products, I never used anything Apple uh, until they came out with the iPhone four because mm-hmm. I. It's really it was hard for me to get used to the you know the the Apple ecosystem uh-huh. where you use iTunes and everything. <laughs> yeah, and for me, it was really hard, yeah. and I got like Very so hard. annoying. And mm-hmm. then, but now it's like cannot live with it without Apple. Yeah, now you don't even need iTunes to do all your shit on your phone. Yeah. Back then, you had to you had to connect to iTunes I, to see anything. It. I hated yeah, it. Yeah, I hated it. it. iTunes is one of the worst softwares ever. It's so heavy. Mm-hmm. It uses so much uh, PC power. PC power. I know. But what was the question? The you sh- should was she the girl? Oh, I, I know. We're moving on. And so my my conclusion is after oh. listening to your story, I think drop him and move on. If anything, maybe he'll come crawling back to you. Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll change his behavior. But even then, even now, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, fan of the way he's acting now. People like those people always come back to you because he, he, the person sees you as a backup plan. And this is a dude from fucking high school. Like mm-hmm. so what? Mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes people think that having history mm-hmm. is more significant than it really is. Mm-hmm. Like, but we have history. We should. I think, yeah, I, I would just drop it. I feel like such a waste. The fact that you're writing about this to us, I feel like that's a good sign enough to just move yes. on. Yeah. If let's say, absolutely no one else on the cards, no other fish in the sea. Actually, no, I wouldn't even say I would want to go back to him. Mm-hmm. I would just die alone. <laughs> How many lovers? You Next. won't die alone, honey. And good luck. Okay, come on, Michelle Fon. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Buddy and Cherry. They're long gone. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a big fan of you since the boy beat till now. Aww. You- Thank you. <laughs> you always made my day. By the way, both of you look stunning in the funeral episode. <laughs> Which is appropriate because mm-hmm. Buddy and Cherry, that should have been the last episode, yeah. to be honest. So here's my story about my family. Like you know, in Asia, it's very common to live with your family, even though you're already old enough to live alone. But lately, I've been feeling too stuffy to live with my family. Girl, me. Because I have three siblings, me, literally. And there's so many times when I feel like I have had enough of the situation that I can't complain with or do anything to it. So in order to suppress the feeling, I often go out with my friends, just playing at my friend's home. But when I arrived, my mom asked me a question, something like, is it really important to go out often with your friend? If it's not, just stay at home. By the way, I'm living in Indonesia where girls don't go out often to hang out Mm. or do anything except for studying, work, or doing an important thing. It's considered as good girl or nice girl. At first, I don't really take it seriously, but she kept asking me every time I arrive at home after going out. I've been telling her in a very kind way, whether it's my voice or the tone that I'm speaking. I try my best not to raise my voice, and I say it the way I feel about being stuffy at home, but she doesn't really take it seriously. So I feel a bit upset even though I'm being honest. So can you guys give me advice how to tell her a different way than I do? Thank you, and I hope Bunny and Cherry can upload more often. (laughs) 
<laughs> Love the staff too for making this content for us to enjoy. I can't relate to this question a lot. Girl, they really be you're old. You're fucking over eighteen already, and they're like, "Where the fuck were you?" No, but I don't know. I have really um, smothering and stuffy mothers. Uh-huh. Mother, not mothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love her, mm-hmm. but she's like that too. She's like, do not hang out with your friends too often. Yeah, she literally said that yeah. because she knew that I'm a homosexual. She because mm-hmm. uh, I got caught. She thought you're just gonna get into giant bukake bang gang. Yeah, she she, really, she literally thought that I'm, yeah. you know, every single time I go and out, she I was hang right. out with homosexual friends. And she was <laughs> she right. She is not right. I have <laughs> never done it. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I feel like Asian parents. I'm not sure your mother, but my, like after so many years of fighting with my mother, I have learned that I cannot change change her. And she came from a, a educational background um, where you have to obey your parents and uh, you are a possession of parents, which I understood now. That but I do not follow. I just. Well, whenever she says I like half agree with her because mm-hmm. to make her happy I was like mm-hmm. okay I will try I will try to mm-hmm. like just like a lying husband yeah. you know what I'm saying like and then I'll just go out now yeah. on the other hand you should uh, to avoid any ar- ar- like argument and everything you should still like sort of comfort your mom and make sure that she and because you're not you in actual fact you're not doing anything bad uh-huh. right so um, just tell your mom to do not worry, and then you'll promise her that you will go out less. But still, uh, you know, I feel like though if you say don't worry, that will make them worry more mm-hmm. because you're not giving them details. I think if you tell her exactly what you're doing, because you're not doing anything crazy. I don't think you're doing drugs or anything. Mm-hmm. If you literally, oh, I was just hanging out with my friends. We were just we went to the mall. If you tell her more specifically, I feel like she'll be a little bit more trusting because you're literally old enough to go out by yourself, right? But I think the even though the, she's going to the mall with her, hang out with her friends, mm-hmm. or I think her mother would think it's a waste of time because it's not I, it's not studying. What is she gonna do? Is she gonna ground her or something? I guess she cannot. But I think it's Asian it, parents, so you never know. Yeah. She, the, her question is how how could I say it to her? For me, in my opinion, I think you should just tell her. You don't have to be like. It seems like you're already telling her in a really calm way, anyway. Like literally, just give her specifically tell her what you're doing. Like, oh, I was just at the mall with my friends. You know, if you want, you could even lie and be like, oh, we were studying. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, a little white lie. Mm-hmm. Like, I I agree because you know, lying is not good, but for a person that's who will never yeah, understand uh-huh. you, because. I've been fighting with my mom for so many years. Like mm. I've even lost myself once. Like I literally, really? my mom would say something like so smothering really? that I, like, like I lost. That was back in the time that she, I got caught. Then I'm, she found out that I'm homosexual, mm. and then she started to constantly nagging about me. I should acting more masculine because mm. somehow she thought that it's the way of getting my homosexuality mm. away uh. you know, to correct myself. So every single time I would say something or do something, it's like, you shouldn't do this. I uh, should do it in this manner. You should act more manly. Mm. And then I hated that kind of comment. Yeah. Uh, and then one day, like she, she was really sick. So she's lying on the bed mm-hmm. and then I was cooking her like a uh, seafood, um, porridge yep. for her to get better and I was cutting and I was pouring the oil and then someone called me so I, I pick up the phone and I, when I finish the call and she's like you know when you were on the phone you should talk in a more masculine tone instead of talking so like, like a girl and then because I was doing something nice to her I was cooking her yeah, porridge yeah. and I was just yeah, out of nowhere yeah yeah like, she like, tell then, me a baguette yes and then all of a sudden because I think it's the accumulation of all the mm-hmm. nagging mm-hmm. that you, I you finally exploded. lost it. I yeah. threw the the you know the oil bottle mm-hmm. against the wall, and Ooh. then the oil splashes on the floor, and I screamed. Girl. I said, "Shut up!" Ooh, I never said something so mm-hmm. strongly. I said, yeah. "Shut up!" And then I like pounding on the ground. I'm like, "When are you gonna stop saying like point, shit like that? Pointless stuff like that." Yeah. yeah. Sit down in my- yes, I, w- I was almost to a point that I was gonna like seriously, I would lose go myself. And my my mom did not say anything; she ignored me. Mm-hmm. But later on, she stopped saying yeah. like things like she didn't think you would. You, she didn't think you would. Yeah. She thought you just take it. Because I even freaked myself out. I was like, I never do something like this. He went back to you, and you were like. I kind of ate. <laughs> I, I, no, I clean out all the oil because oil is so hard to clean. Oh, I clean yeah. all that and then I put my lipstick on. And I'm like, no, I didn't put my lipstick on. Redness, acne, beard, but full red lipstick, beautifully applied. I love that. Yeah. I, I kind of had a similar situation as well mm-hmm. where my mom, I was like my last straw. I was in high school. Mm-hmm. 
and in my head, I was probably like, because I was always the quiet person. Even if I'm angry, I don't say anything. But in my head, I was had had this romance of like uh, this romance, uh, not romance, this like fantasy of like I'm a high schooler that can lash out. Mm-hmm. So finally, one day, I don't remember what the conversation was about, but my mom really fucking annoyed me. So I screamed. We had a tapestry of the Last Supper on above our dinner table. Grabbed it, wiped my face with it, and I spat at it. And I was like, fuck this shit. I like, ran upstairs. You literally said, F this shit? Probably. Okay. There was another day where my stepfather, <laughs> my stepfather, we were arguing again over something. And I was like, I couldn't take it anymore. So I was like, fuck this. In his face. Oh my God. He exploded. He grabbed my face and was like, what the fuck did you say? I was like, fuck this shit. And he was like, Whoop. it was crazy. But then I was just like, I did that. I did that. And so I, was, I called my mom. I was like, you mm-hmm. need to get this man arrested. It was crazy. But you live and you learn. And no one got arrested. And uh, No one got arrested. And, uh, and uh, your homosexuality is not correct. Still there. It's still even there. worse. Even worse. Mm-hmm. And uh, here we come. Uh, uh, after our parents are right. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. in conclusion, keep the tone that you've been keeping. Just be more specific with her so she gets the idea. Because when you start being vague with your answers, she's going to be like, is it really that important? Is it really that important? Girl, you're old enough to be able to run your own fucking life. Like, as long as in, inside of her head, then mm-hmm. that you know, there's no um, a correct definition of what a good girl is. Mm-hmm. As long as you know that you're doing something that yeah. you like, uh-huh. and then do not get affected by what your parents mm-hmm. say. And I know that it's really hard, and you, I know one day you might get like snapped. It is okay, just as long as you don't hurt yourself, and then and you don't throw oil on the floor because it's hard <laughs> to clean up. It's very hard to clean oil. Yeah. Because how do you clean that? Uh, I use the paper towel first to suck, suck all the yeah, and then. But anyway, girl, I feel I feel you. But there's no like a, really a right way to do this. But just understand your mom a little bit more, and um, and you know. understand, girl. I would. I feel like there's no need to understand. I know, but because I think I think in that situation sometimes because I know that I wasn't I wasn't wrong, so my attitude was really really bad. I was like, no, I reject everything that you say. But I just felt like my mom came from a different like um, a generation, and um, she was never educated on that topic. So that of course she's gonna say something that hurtful to me. So I sort of listened to her, but I still like I don't get like I don't get myself observed to those things that she said. But I still understand why she's doing that. As long as the action makes sense, it will just stop me from like getting snapped and everything. Th- things like this um, kept happening. It will just worsen our relationship. So I don't want that to happen. Because I still love my mom. Yeah. Anyway, let's move to the next question. Thank you, Dr. Phil. <clears throat> Dear Bunny and Cherry. <gasps> no! no! Dear Bunny and Cherry, I'm a straight woman that has been in complicated relationships. Not toxic or bad, mostly the long distance kind. And I've been single for over two years. What? A- <laughs> well, I've been single for like six years. Six years? No. Oh. So I, did, I dated a K pop idol video. Shut up, I guess. Has been six years? Almost. Yeah. Okay. I've been single for over two years. What advice would you give me if I really enjoy being alone now? P.S. Your friend's goals. For all you know, but behind Thank the you. scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, if you really enjoy being yourself, that the, the story is over. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's this. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you enjoy being alone, then, then be alone. No. I, I was reading somewhere. I forgot what it was. Mm-hmm. I think it was a Reddit post. The person was talking about how they've been in a long relationship like a very many year relationship and they ended it and they just didn't have any desire to be in another relationship and they're like is there something wrong with me but a lot of the comments were just like literally if that's how you feel now that's how you feel now maybe down the line later on you'll be like oh maybe i want to be in a re- i'm ready for another relationship so i don't think there's any point in like i don't think there's a specific time that you're gonna be ready for a relationship yes if you're if you enjoy being alone right now like you even said I really enjoy being alone right now. Mm-hmm. If you enjoy being alone right now, then just enjoy it. Yeah, because you, know? you never now you enjoy being alone. Maybe later on you change your thought, then mm-hmm. or you don't change your thought. Maybe you might meet someone that changes your mind, mm-hmm. right? So yeah, just be yourself. Because um, I feel like a lot of people that are in a, in a relationship they're not happy. A lot of them I know they're 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 um, as long as you're happy now, then there's a lot of people that also feel the pressure to be in a relationship mm-hmm. because of the people around them. Yes, um, me, I'm just me, kidding. literally. 
I'm saying, as long as you're uh, what where like your choice that makes you happy, then I feel like you're being alone. There's nothing wrong with it. And you're very young, I guess. I think if you're, you're watching us, chair, I'm yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> still a long life ahead of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like personally, I always I always imagine myself my love mm -hmm. and the energy that I can give to a man is very, is limited. So each single relationship is sort of pulled a part of my love and the, a part of the love and energy I can give to a man away. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting less and, and less love and, and energy inside of me. So and that's why your relationship these days only lasts two months. <laughs> my point is- How many lovers does it my take? My point is, yeah, you know, just accumulate all those you know, energy and love inside of you. And then if you meet the right one, then you, you know, give give it to them. By the, like by then, it's not too late. Mm. Yeah. Because you can only love so many men in your life. Girl, amen to that. Yes. Amen to that. Yeah. And also, I heard somewhere that it's not good to be in so many relationships. Yeah, it's not. It's not good for you mentally. And it, it's, it makes it harder for you to hold a, a proper long-term relationship later on. But you never know. There's a, there are people who are just um, polyamorous. So, amen to that. People are just different. Yeah. Fool here. <laughs> Fell in love with my coworker. Expressed my feelings towards him. While I was doing this, he opened Tinder and started swiping left and right. <laughs> no, I like you. Oh yeah, it's on I, I used to be on a date, and then we were having dinner, and then I saw a notification like, like someone, someone send you a message on Tinder, and then like it pops up on his phone. Mm. A huge red flag. Like mm, I lost all my appetite. Yeah. yeah. I was hanging out with a friend the other day, mm -hmm. and um. We don't really have it. We don't have anything. Mm -hmm. But Yaka, when we're together, we're, Yaka flirty hugging him. Mm -hmm. We're like very flirty with each other. Mm -hmm. We used to joke about fucking or whatever, but we never have. Mm -hmm. In my head, I was like, maybe if by the grace of God, maybe something, like if I try, maybe we can have something, you know. But as we were hanging out, he was literally on Grinder showing me. He's like, oh my God, look, huh? look at this guy, huh? look at his dick, huh? right in front of my face. And that just turned me off immediately. So yeah. I was like, I'm going home. <laughs> And then he's like, no, please don't be mad at me. I'm like, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm just like, when I meet someone like that, you know me. Like when mm -hmm. someone does something that makes my chong mm -hmm. I'm you, immediately, I'm you, so, I'm like. You cut yourself off mentally. From person, yes. And like, I feel like I have like no like desire to even try anymore. But anyway, why do I always crush on emotionally unavailable people? I think it's just bad timing. Uh, me too. Yeah, maybe you just I happen, you know, so. just this happens to be a guy that you were co-worker with. You end up catching feelings, but he's sitting there being emotionally unavailable because he's on Tinder left and right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just, yeah, it's just bad. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time, honey. If I saw that, I would just, I just feel like, like you, I feel like it's such a turn off. Yeah, I just mean, so I would even bother. I would just, just like the last person, like time and place, you'll eventually meet someone else down the line. I, I wouldn't bother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel bad about my answer being the same like every time, but it's just like, move on because yeah. it's such a waste it truly like when you get older the more you realize it's not worth spending your time and energy think and emotion also, yes thinking about and worrying about these people yeah where those people do not even appreciate that yeah yeah like wasting your time writing to me buddy and cherry about this go mean this thought we, that you we, have. We, we, we read it so yeah. so after all and it really worked it truly could just be you have bad luck like you just every person you happen to have a crush on they're all emotionally available but eventually hopefully you'll eventually you know find the one that isn't like that there will be always um good single man you just have to look for but it also there's the type of people that are really like whether they realize it or not they're really only attracted to people like that oh the ones that they can't have mm. the ones that play either hard to get or they're emotionally unavailable and they're like i'm gonna have this man so in their head they're like i'm gonna catch him you know, and they end up like liking them for the wrong reasons. I think I've seen girls like that, like, mm. uh, but Girl, I'm like that. It's like those gay guys that think that they can just get any straight guy mm -hmm. and convert them mm -hmm. when they weren't available there for are them. People to... like that. There are people like that. Okay, like fucking Miss James Charles. Oh, he's only attracted to straight guys apparently. If that was true. I thought it was rumors. No, girl, he literally said it. It came out of his mouth so many times. Oh, I was I wasn't following him, mm. but because the idea was just so bizarre, so I didn't <laughs> I didn't take it seriously. Yeah, but how could he, like how that. could he, it's like and girls, that's what happens when you live in LA. Yeah, it's like girls come to me trying to convert me into straight Sis. people. Like I'm so gay that Sis. yes, these girls on Tinder try to try to match me because I have gold, so I can see what uh, so I drive, and I'm like, sweetie, sweetie, I'm I am no lesbian. I'm a sister from another Mister. Hi, bu <laughs> Hi, Buddy and Cherry. 
Hi. Any tips for do? <laughs> Any tips for douching? <laughs> I've been having a hard time because I douche even more than ten times. However, water is not clear. Also, even if the water gets clear, there's still evidence of peanut butter when there's penetration happening. <laughs> no! Holy! I, yes, it's a real error. I'm not, I wish I was making this up. Peanut butter? Uh, like, like just like, <laughs> you know, like so the person, stuff, stuff coming out. The they, person, they don't literally mean peanut butter. I know, but like, so during the... Ha- during the- uh, I'm a pure bottom and this issue really ruined my sex life. Wherein it's been a long time since I bought him considering that I'm afraid of this mess happening. Girl, that's trauma. That, I get that. I... If it's not clean... Eat more vegetables. <sighs> you need to eat your vegetables. And also, there's supplements that will help you um, your, with your diet. Albuji? Uh, Probiotics. There, yeah. Probiotics or like there's those Buy pills. Buy from iHerb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fiber pills. How do you douche? But then that's just like- I I will take... I have a... My Hyung, he owns like this um supplement company because he's a bodybuilder. And he has this little um powder thing that you mix with water and you drink it. It literally... It's so weird. It like starts out as like sandy like dirt. You eat it with water. And when it's in your system, it clumps together like a sponge. And as it's coming out of your intestine, it literally pushes everything out. It's crazy. Like every Like your stomach will hurt like the next day. But the stomach hurting is all that shit coming right the fuck out. And it, I truly feel like I lost 10 pounds after I take that shit. Because it's so good. Oh and th- that's how... That's, you would do that? that? Okay. I would do that, yeah. But it, it's obviously... It would have to be like many hours in advance that I do this. Because uh, douching... For me, what I, what I used to douche, like I would literally just take the shower, hit off the shower, and just shove it up my ass. Okay. Fill her right up and just sit on the toilet. But... Uh, sometimes there's situations like that where stuff will still come out. So definitely it starts with your diet. I see. I yeah. see. You told me once if you don't feel like it's clean, you don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because for me, that's true. If I feel like things is not going right or I don't think I'm a completely clean woman, then I don't, <laughs> I won't do it. I would yeah. say, oh, you know, today I just don't, I'm not feeling yeah. it. Can Nothing we just do oral is- today? <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not an anal girl. <laughs> I need, I'm, I'm saving my virginity for you know for marriage so anyway I recommend a product called Pepe do you know Pepe? Pepe is vagina in Filipino <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had one. Oh, girl you, are, a, you have one right here on your face let me, so I forgot like the, the right name but now I remembered mm-hmm. it's called Sepe which is C- that's so off from what you said <laughs> so it's C-E-P-E-E Sepe oh. so uh, even though you don't have this specific brand this is from japan mm-hmm. uh, i can you, i can you can buy it in korea online as well do you really think this person is in korea uh yeah but you can you, i think you can buy it internationally maybe uh, on Mon- q10 or something uh, um okay. but this thing i'm pretty sure this exists in your country because this is originally to mm-hmm. clean the vaginal area really yeah because inside of this is uh is uh, how do i say salted water uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, uh, I know what you're talking about. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like clean it's, water, yeah, clean Just water, distilled water. I don't know. Just, uh, it has like a part of like salt in it, mm-hmm. so it makes it very clean. Mm-hmm. And then you invert this cap thing, mm-hmm. and then it, ha- it has like a insert sort of a head, mm-hmm. and then you insert this into your vagina, and then you squeeze the water out, and so you clean out all your um, but the thing unwanted is, things. The in thing your, is, he he says he does all that many mm-hmm. times, but still stuff still comes out. So even if he uses this stuff, but when I use this, I never have that problem. This because is your really hole, because your hole is a gaping fucking cavernous giant pit. I just that just nothing. It, it can't hold anything, Edward. So of course, that's just gonna be empty. I feel like this I'm, is you're, this is basically a mist bottle for I you. I feel like I'm sloshing. You're, you're basically telling you're gonna, me you're gonna need, you're basically telling me I'm a loose vagina whore exactly that's what you're, you're telling me you're gonna need me. stuff of like Niagara Falls level of pressure to clean that shit out Edward Olivilla I you know every single night I open my bible I pray for you and then <laughs> now I get this I'm a that's loose, what my sister literally says to me yeah you now you're calling and me a loose not vagina whore it's not working I'm you know my with all my true heart I'm recommending something that works and you, you're calling me you're slush shaming me okay Edward Anyway, use our coupon code down below for ten uh, percent off our se- we ain't got no CP. CP, CP. And uh, uh, you do this, and then you refill the water, and then you do this because I feel like it's they have it available everywhere. 
Mm. Dushin Kids. Dushin Kids. Uh, like you but I, I have Baldos. This is different. This is so gentle and soft. And then it's water, Edward. No, it's the, 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 something about this nozzle. The na- the, the, then you insert in this. It's just the right amount of firmness and softness. So you don't feel like um, a, the, a very cold foreign object inserting into your body. Is, that's not the problem. I know, but like I think it's one of those things where you have to take you know those like teas that will help you clear your system, or you just don't eat before. Some people do that. Yeah, I don't eat. Yeah, yeah. Some people will not eat for like not not like a day or two, but like they'll kind of like because once in a day, then you will go naturally. Uh, if I'm waiting for something that I know that I'm gonna get, you know, inseminated or impregnated <laughs> or something, that, is that what? a word? If I'm <laughs> what I'm gonna get breeded? Yes. <laughs> It sees it in, when I get in, when I know I'm gonna get inseminated. What the or impregnated? What the fuck? So on the day that I know that I'm gonna get inseminated, say breed it. So breed it. <laughs> I'm an honored. Breed wo- my whole. I'm an honored Victorian woman. There's something so. that so turns me off so much about that in porn where they're like, breed my fucking whole. <laughs> fuck, breed oh my, my whole. So what? Well, like do. that big cock. <laughs> Yo, fuck yeah, oh, I wait. fucking do. So you, I know I'm, I, fo- I can foresee that. And so after I release myself once in a day, and then after that, I don't eat anything. Mm. And then I douche, and then I do the deed, and then everything is perfect. I, you know, it's just very clean. And then I'm surrounded with butterflies and unicorns and marshmallows and rainbows. And then... And that was today's episode. We'll see you later. Yes, and eat less and use sepe. The fuck? No quibanko. You just tell him to eat less and take sepe? No, this is a... Eat less and put water in your pussy. Okay. <laughs>